attending Haskell for Native students is, is a free uh, college. So I was able to attend Haskell for free, and I, I later went on and attended uh, Fort Lewis College in Durango, Colorado, which it also is a partnership between the state of Colorado, I believe, and the local Indian uh, communities. Uh, the land was donated by the tribes to uh, the state, and therefore Fort Lewis College is free of tuition to uh, Native students. And Native students from all over the United States and Alaska are able to attend. Grad school, I applied to several different schools throughout the country, and I received offers from many different schools, and they all offered free uh, tuition and also a very pretty generous stipend. Attending University of North Carolina Chapel Hill for graduate school uh, was a good choice for me. Not only did it uh, provide me with a great education, but they also provided it um, free of cost. Um, they took care of my tuition, uh, they took care of, uh, and they also provided a very nice stipend to live on while in North Carolina. And I think most graduate schools in the sciences offer this type of uh, program throughout the country. If anybody finds themselves paying for graduate school in the sciences, then they haven't made a very informed choice. Um, and they should rethink the program that they are in. And so there's plenty of money out there for people to go to grad school, particularly if you are a minority. Um, there's a big push nationally to increase the number of underrepresented people in the sciences. And there are several grants. Uh, almost every major uh, research institution in the United States will have a grant devoted to increasing the numbers of minorities in their schools. College was never really in my, my future while I was growing up and in high school. It just wasn't something that I talked about, that was talked about much um, in my household. Um, and even in the high schools that I attended, it was, uh, I knew it was out there. Uh, and I knew that you know, many of my friends were likely to go to college. However, it just didn't seem like it was a, something that uh, was required of me. Um, and it wasn't something that was really pushed upon me. But in today's day and age, uh, it's very important to get an education, uh, particularly for people from uh, reservation communities, um, mainly because there are you know, many economic hardships on the reservation. There are uh, health disparities on the reservation. It's very important for um, minorities, American Indians, to educate themselves and um, try and solve those problems that exist on the reservation.